Hi there, I'm Miss Nicole, the children's librarian at Nopal Cicero, and I'm here today with some home-cooked art for you. That's art you can make with stuff from your kitchen. Today we're going to make sidewalk chalk paint, which is a really easy, cheap, and fun art material for people of all ages. Um, it's very easy to make. So, to make sidewalk chalk paint, all you need is some cornstarch. I have one cup of cornstarch here, but you can use any amount you want. So one cup of cornstarch, and then an equal amount of water. So I have one cup of water. I'm just going to pour that in. There we go. And mix it around. Now this can be a bit challenging because it's fairly soupy and thick if you're doing it right, but it shouldn't take too long to get it all stirred up. All right, that's looking good. All right. Now, of course, you need the color. So the easiest way to do this is just food coloring. What I'm going to do now, before I color it, is I'm going to pour it into some squeeze bottles. Now, you don't have to do this. You can just put it in whatever container you have. Um, I happen to have these squeeze bottles sitting around from doing tie-dye, but you could use an old mustard or ketchup bottle, a muffin tin, any kind of jar that you want. It really just depends on how much you want to make and um, how many colors you want to make. So, let's pour this into the bottle. Hopefully without making too much of a mess. That's good. Okay. All right. So that was about half of what I made. And I'm gonna try and make green today. Now you can add as much or as little food coloring as you would like. I found in testing this out a bunch of times that about 20 drops per half cup gets you a really nice bright color. Um, almost neon. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, close enough. Now, you could of course do more than that, um, but anytime that you use food coloring, there's always a risk of staining. So if you use this much or more, please be advised you could get some temporary staining on your, um, on your surface, especially if you put it on a light colored sidewalk. It shouldn't last forever, but it might last longer than you want. So keep that in mind. Um, my sidewalk is kind of beat up already, so I didn't mind. Um, but that's always a possibility. Okay, so there we have it. Looks pretty well mixed up. You can shake it up like this if it's in a squeeze bottle or just mix it up with a spoon. All right, and let me see. I'm gonna see if I can show you uh, what it looks like. I have a paver from outside so you can see what it looks like on sidewalk material. Oh. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna try and move it in here in a minute when I'm done. But right, it's nice and bright and beautiful. And it's very liquidy, of course, but especially on a hot day, it dries quite fast. And the colors lighten up a little bit as it dries out, but it's really great. So you can squeeze it like this. You can use a paintbrush if you like. Um, or you can do what my kids like to do, which is just make a puddle and then spread it around with their fingers. It's really just a really fun experience and you get such nice bright colors. So here is the sidewalk chalk paint that I just made, just a big puddle of it. And you can see, you can just kind of mix it around. And the lighting's not the best. If this if this were out in the sun, you'd be able to see um, more brightly what's going on here. 
but I'll tell you it's nice and it's really fun to play with. It's smooth and a little slimy, not unpleasantly so. Um, and it, when it's in the sun, it dries really, really quickly. So it's really fun to work with. So that's it. Sidewalk chalk paint. Um, please, if you do something really cool with this project, please share pictures or video or comments with us below. Uh, don't forget to check out our website. That's www.nopl.org for more great activities. And we'll see you next Friday for more home cooked art. Have a great week.